Hello everyone. Welcome to day 20 of the 21 day yoga challenge. Since it's the last two days, I wanted to leave you with something that can be really useful for you guys. So I've planned a quick 10, 12 minute routine that can help you work out the entire body. So let's get started. We'll start our practice today by just seated in the cross-legged posture. So sit upright, take some time to ground yourself, focusing on your body and setting an intention for your day. It could just be something as simple as, I am happy, I'm healthy, and peaceful. Gently releasing the hands, you can open your eyes and reaching out in front of you. Reach out in front of you as far as you can go. Your eyes are gazing at your hands, just activating the arms and the shoulders a little bit. Try to push your hips back into the mat, do not raise the hips. Now moving the hands to the side and just stretching sideways, getting a good stretch on the side of your trunk. Back to center. So I'm pushing the hands and pushing the upper body away. Let's move to the other side and stretch. Now, join your hands at the back to open up the shoulder blades a little bit more. So bring your hands in the Paschima Namaskar. Try to bring the shoulder blades together. Draw the elbows towards the sides and away. If this is comfortable for you, you can aim to take your hands upward. If this is very uncomfortable for you, then you can just aim to hold on to the elbows and push them away from the body. Also change the interlock of the elbows, pushing it away. And now coming to standing to the top of your mat. Inhale, stretch the arms up, bend the elbows, hold on to them and just bend over. As you bend over, you can bend your knees and drop the head down. Straighten the knees out a little bit. If you're comfortable, you can straighten them out completely and just hang in there. If not, you can keep a slight bend in the knees. Just hang in there and move from side to side. And again, bending the knees, dropping the hands down beside the feet. The right leg is forward and the left leg is back. Coming to our Ashwasanjanasana posture, but you're on your toes this time. Now bringing your palms beside your chest, just draw your hands straight forward, making this extension right from your leg to your hips and from the trunk up towards hands. Hold this strong posture and coming back again for a break, just straighten the legs out and bend it back this time holding your hands back your head is still in the same position push these arms back charging the arms the leg is strong right leg pressing into the mat bring your palms back and straighten the legs out again coming back to the bent leg posture rest your knee down Extend the leg out and open up your arms bending back. If you're unstable here, you can also place your palms on the knee, interlock it and bend back for a gentle back bend. Again, placing your palms back down, straightening both the legs, trying to bring your abdomen close to the thigh, bending the elbows, bringing the chest 
close to the knees. If possible, you can rest your head on the shin for the Parshvatonasana. It's absolutely okay if you just stay here. And from here, taking the right leg back and coming to a plank. Holding the plank here strong. And dropping down to a low plank on the elbows. Keeping your body strong, the entire body active. Holding it here for a couple of seconds. We're working on the entire body here. Drop the knees down and releasing the entire body onto the mat. Placing the forehead down into the mat. We're going to tuck the toes in and come up to a complete Pujangasana. Even the thighs come off the mat. Now pushing the hands and the toes into the mat, drawing the hips up, come to the Adho Mukhashwasana. Lift your right leg up as much as possible and bending the knee, bring it touching the opposite elbow and goes back in place. Now bringing the left leg up as much as possible, let it come to touch the opposite elbow and bringing it back in place. Push your hands and feet in your standard Adho Mukhashwasana and from here coming down onto the knees. Inhaling, pushing the belly down and looking up at the ceiling. Ceiling, bringing the chin to the chest and pushing the spine up towards the ceiling. A couple of times again. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling, chin to the chest. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling, chin to the chest. And from here, just sit back on your heels. Pushing the arms forward for a relaxing stretch. Come to standing to the other edge of the mat and we repeat the entire practice on this side. Inhaling, draw the arms up and hold on to the elbows. Bend over, you can bend your knees if you like. Completely reverse the circulation towards your head and gently move from side to side. You can straighten the legs if you're comfortable or you can keep a slight bend in the knees. Placing the hands beside your feet, taking the right leg back this time, the left leg is forward. The back leg is straight and strong and bringing your hands beside your chest, draw them straight ahead, charging them forward, you should feel a single extension again from your right leg to your right hip and the entire trunk moving up towards the hands holding it here and relaxing the hands back placing them on the mat now keeping your trunk and the head as they are in position interlock the hands behind you and stretch back charging the hands back holding it here and bringing the hands back on the mat. Straightening the legs just for releasing any tension. Now pressing into the left leg, straighten the back, extend the arms out sideways or an option to interlock the hands, place it on your knee and push back for a slight back bend. Look up ahead in front of you and placing the hands back down. Next, straighten the legs for a Parshvakonasan. Bring the abdomen flows towards your thighs, chest towards the knees, and drop your head if possible for the complete Parshvakonasan. The elbow slightly bent. Let's hold it here. Feel a good stretch in the front leg, at the back of the leg, especially. Now, from here, taking your left leg back towards the right leg and coming to a strong plank pose. Hold the plank nice and strong. You're using the entire body 
use your arms let's just hold it here for a couple of seconds before we drop into the low plank onto the elbows your core is strong the arms are strong shoulders are strong hold 3 2 1 and dropping the knees down loosening up the arms and resting the forehead on to the mat bring your palms on to the sides of your chest now we're going to tuck the toes in and come up to a complete bhujangasan with the thighs off the mat feel the stretch from the joint of the ankles to your thighs the back and the upper body now as usual make sure that the shoulders are strong get relaxed they're not crouched pushing the toes and the hands into the mat and drawing the hips up towards the ceiling come to the adhomukha swasana the biceps are touching the ears the back is nice and long and strong this time the left leg goes up bend your knee to touch the opposite elbow and get back to place right leg comes up bending the knee touching the opposite elbow and coming back to place drop the knees down knees come below the hips hands come below the shoulders for a few cat cow stretches the marjari asana and the bitta asana push the belly down towards the mat inhale up exhale take the chin towards the chest and push the back towards the ceiling inhale look up pushing the belly down exhale pulling the belly up towards the spine chin to the chest and one more time inhale look up and exhale chin to chest pushing the back up as much as possible sit back on your heels and stretch stretch forward place your forehead on the mat relaxing the entire body and for a relaxation you can come down for a quick shavasan lying down on the spine your palms facing up towards the ceiling shoulders relaxed the entire body is relaxed relaxing the toes the heels the calves the knee relax your thighs the entire pelvis region soften the abdomen relax the back the upper back the upper arms and the arms relax the neck relax all your facial muscles your entire body is relaxed you're completely feeling relaxed letting go of any stress any tension in any part of the body take a deep breath in and exhale take another deep breath in and exhaling turn towards one side you can use your hand as a pillow push into the ground and come up to sitting i hope you like this quick 10 minute yoga session Although a short one it's really effective and works on the entire body we engage the lower body the upper body as well as the core in between so you can use this on days when you're really pressed for time so that you don't have to completely forgo your workout stay healthy stay fit and namaste